Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Star Wars review, and this one is on the Republic, Anakin's Republic Y-Wing, and Count Dooku Solar Sailor from 2009, of course. So on the front of the uh, booklets, as you see, we have the set in action, and also Lego logo, Star Wars logo, and the two different clone trooper type borders that, from the times, of course. Or will change both in the same time, but yeah. And of course, we get two set numbers and highlight of Count Dooku's speeder, of course. But yeah. First one over to that. On the back, it's win on the, how to win on the online survey. And then have an add of Lego Club and add for most sets from the time, including a 10th anniversary set, of course. And then a little promotional poster of of like Clone Wars, of course, and then add a, and also one of the features of the set, and the pieces that come with the set, of course, and the last steps. Now on to all the mini things included with both sets. So this first of which, first off, we have Count Dooku, who I believe is probably exclusive to just this one, which, uh, which I think might have came in a couple other sets eventually, but I'm not sure about that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. But aside from that, we have the Widow's Peak hair piece, which has been kind of overrun with. Uh, most action themes, but at least kind of works for him right here. But well, although I think if he were uh, done, Clone Wars Count Dooku was done nowadays, he'd probably use the traditional hair piece that Episode Two version Count Dooku has. In. But aside from that, you can see his front torso printing done quite well, and the Clone Wars style face print uh, quite nice for that, kind of good for that. And of course. It also has the uh, traditional red lightsaber, but with the curved hilt like he's had in early times, and has and it's in chrome, which probably one of the only times that has happened in 2009. But when the others, others had either regular silver or just plain gray, of course. Also, you can like oh, whoops, let's swap the hilt piece, of which for this uh, dark brown hood piece, probably to fit for his Jedi cloak, of course, but yeah. And as you see, the cape kind of ruined a bit, but just how I got it went off Bricklink, of course. And next to which is the pilot droid here, of which all the usual pieces of any battle droid, but, and, but in white, and also for using for a head is a skeleton like piece. Kind of interesting how that is, but yeah. And also, which you're looking at one, but actually this set includes two of the Magna Guards, of course. Which this, which only other set we've ever got these figs in, which previously, or the previous year, was in the Magna Guard Starfighter, so at least good to see them in another set as well. Hopefully, they get to be in other sets down the line. Or by now. Hopefully, eventually, they will. But, yeah, anyways. And now, on, and then next to which for Anakin's Y Wing is to get R2 D2, but this is which the final, uh, finally, the new updated version, well, for 2009, but with the all silver headpiece, which they often use for these Clone War sets, but, and also other sets as well, but, and of course, after 10 years, finally updated, of course, but, and aside from that, the head printings, especially the top part, done quite goodly, and uh, body printing, also done good. And 
Next up, we have uh, Anakin Skywalker, Clone Wars version, who uh, I think did also come in Anakin's uh, Jedi Starfighter uh, in the previous year, and also a couple other sets as well. Oh, so not much to mention here, but also do you get Count, or I mean uh, Ahsoka Tano, uh, which, well, Clone Wars style, who did come in a few set in one or two sets prior to this, but aside from that. Like as the, the not only like printing, but if you notice Ahsoka in the earlier episodes of the Clone Wars, she does have some sort of tie-like thing, but around on her waist for whatever reason. Would have been nice if that was included here, but maybe an updated version would have that, obviously. And and of course for the oranges skin to it, well suiting to that of Ahsoka and. Of course, the uh, torso printing done quite good, and and of course wielding the green lightsaber, which Ahsoka in most episodes attends to do so. And as for her face printer, which does well capture Ahsoka quite a bit, and as for the headdress piece, which I think is probably probably used only just for these earlier versions, but and of course did get different version for her in Shakti and couple of years after and then also for the extra long version in 2016 for Star Wars Rebels and also season 7 Clone Wars in 2020 well aside from that and on to the backs of each fig of course oh whoops as there's nothing for any of them but and of course for Ahsoka's Probably the most misleading, like, as for the, like, uh, tank top or something that she's wearing right there. And, oh, which, so there should be some printing for that on the back part, but maybe if they do an, another version of Ahsoka like this, it would have that. But, hey, at least that should be good, but whatever. And also, none of the figs don't have any double side faces, of course, but since they're earlier figures, but yeah. But, and that's about it with the figs. And now, on to the actual sets. First off, we're for Count Dooku's Solar Sailor. Of course, interesting facts is this was the only time we've ever had this uh, particular ship. Although, fun fact, they, there was going to be one for the following year, for two, of two, probably for 2002 or three for episode 2's release, but instead didn't happen, but instead just wait till 2009 to have this one for Clone Wars, but yeah. So as for, as you can see, it has quite a lot of the jagged uh, slope pieces in brown, well seen to that, and also to note is this set does contain a whole lot of stickers, as you can see, for like this top bit of which does quite well. Same with the bottom part of which, and for the uh, landing gear of which, as it's kind of resting on those jagged slopes with studs, and also a bit of those like uh, panel pieces there, and of course do swivel in and out, but on the regular squarish ones, but if it were made now with the like more curved bit to it, uh, which would have worked out just as fine, and of course when in flight mode to snap it in to do so, snap it in to do so. And as for the front bit of it is of how it opens up, but in the show it of course has a large golden sail that folds right out and have it sail across of course. But also of course have this little bit of it you can slip right out and attach your pilot droid minifig on to and clip them in and yeah and just slide back in of course oh actually just standing right there kind of like he does in episode 2 of course and this Fit in nice securely and dome piece working on that, of course. But yeah. And as for this other side of which, have 
couple more of those large uh, curved slopes so for that end if you wonder what this little bit is for is if you press on that and shoots a couple of the quick fire missiles out of course and of course trans purple stud on the nice to see there and that's for the back part of which does have a couple of the those uh, canopy type pieces but in solid brown and couples more stickers on of course and also the old style tie fire cock or windshield piece but in a solid color quite nice to see there which you can definitely use for paneling if you want but yeah and also if you like pull them out and also do get a county goose little speeder bike which kind of similar to that of the like Zan Blue version from 2002, and also at least kind of similar to the one that came on the Duan Geonosis set in 2013, but at least that one does have some better bits to it, but this one's kind of in the middle of the two, and also have a seat to put Count Dooku on, and also clip for the his lightsaber, of course. Also, these back part of which, not at all need fins to be put on like the 2013 version, but probably to have it fit better inside it of course but, and also what would have been nice is if it had a clear brick or two to make it look like it's floating up of course which in the movie and show it does yes, but hopefully if this set ever does get a remake well I think it probably have some of the similar features but also with the uh, Springlet launchers, of course, and uh, probably what else? Uh, probably not much, but yeah. And that's about it with Count Dooku's Solar Sailor. And now on to uh, Anakin's Republic Y-Wing, or better said, just Republic Y-Wing, of course. And of course, this interesting uh, vehicle that we've never got to see any remakes of or any. Thing. So even though we're used to like rebellion Y wings, and of course, but although this, which in this form, this coloring did also appear in one episode of Star Wars Rebels, of course. So would be nice if it were remade just for that show, or also in a uh, season seven Clone Wars or so. We and also the Bad Batch do see this, but in white and blue to suiting 501st troopers of course but yeah but aside from that this is which I if it were remade for that it probably I expect it to be this much good but yeah but as for the front part of it as you can see quite a bit thick and also good uh, smock techniques on both sides and also do have those technic bits there acting or technic rod or pin bits acting as probably as front blasters, of course. And also, like most, and does have the traditional cockpit piece that the Rebellion Y Wing and X Wings both have. And of course, enough space to, and also a nice little control panel on there, of course. But again, enough space to fit your Anakin mini fig into, of course, and close over like so. And for this back part, which which has those telescope pieces acting as other blasters, of course, and also the traditional classic dome piece, but in clear. Quite nice there. And the secondary cockpit area, which does have another control panel bit in there, of course. And of course, enough space to fit your Ahsoka mini fig into, obviously. And also, despite the headdress piece, it fits quite well, fits great over her. And as for this other section of which, as you can see, has a few jagged slopes on their end, a little bit of greebling to their end. If you wonder what this part is for, is where you can just flip open, and it's a little empty space I wish to fit their lightsabers in. And that is, fits in quite nice and tight. Nice securely. As for the engine bits of which, it's a good snot all over them, and also with um, 
a little bit of jagged slopes acting as a good angling there. And of course, it does have a alright sticker of the uh, Republic symbol there. And now there's very few stickers in this set, which is quite nice. And of course, dome pieces again, but in solid white. And that's for the back part of which, which does have those uh, dish pieces in pink, of which act trans pink as uh, the exhaust from there, of course. And also from the back part, which does have the astromech droid head pieces and those grilled pieces acting as probably as ventilations. And uh, not sure what the astromech droid head bits are for, but whatever. And now, if you're wondering what that uh, three long uh, uh, axle rod is for, is for you to put your R2D2 uh, minifig onto. If I get it right, slide right on, and also underneath the witch, which does have the classic spring oil launcher, of course. Which, if you push on R2D2, and it launches right up. Let's do that one more time. And of course, as common, these quite powerful to shoot and whatnot. So at least nice to see it there. But I have a feeling that if it were remade, it would probably include spring-loaded launchers, of course. But at least good to see for the time being, of course. And yeah. And also, uh, from the bottom part is what this little uh, piece is for, is probably to act as landing gear, but not sure how it's considered as landing gear, but although I think probably a little technic bit or something could be added there to act as another bit of landing gear, of course. But hey, maybe on a remake, if they remake it, if I expect it to have that, but yeah. And so now on to the final verdict. Um, hang on a sec. Okay, so for my overall verdict, I think they have these two of which are quite cool sets for the time. Like, of course, interesting builds that we've never get to see in uh, as others as remakes or whatever but also and of course count dooku exclusive to it and also and of course the magna guards in a second time in the set great for that and of course ahsoka in early from earlier episodes also good to include but yeah and of course do get plenty of good functions from both of them good playability and all and Size for price, uh, quite good, of course. And price for piece, also quite good. And whereas for for the uh, Y-Wing, I, if it were to be remade, I expect it to be either like this, or in this yellow coloring, or otherwise in blue to match 501st, of course. But maybe that could happen for the Bad Batch or whatever, but yeah. And that's it. And if you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who haven't and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, BrickLink, whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.